Hi and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this rock formation in Blender. But first of all, I want to thank to my patrons. Thank you for the support. Gracias por el apoyo. Okay, so let's get started. Let's start with the cube. Press S, then C to scale it on the C axis. We need to apply the scale in object mode. Control A, scale. Otherwise, the modifiers won't work correctly. Now press stop for edit mode. Control R with mouse wheel, increase cuts to two. Now let's have a subdivision surface modifier and increase levels to three. Then we can apply the modifier. First of all, let's create the UVs in edit mode with alt shift click then U and mark sim press A to select all faces U and unwrap again add the subdivision modifier and also a displace modifier Click on New, click on this button, change to Clouds. Now we just need to increase texture size. Right click and shade the smooth. We can play around with display strength. And once we are happy with the shape, we can apply the modifiers. Right click, convert to mesh and this will collapse the modifiers now let's change to cycles i'm gonna use gpu for rendering and let's go to shading workspace create a material and we need the node wrangler add-on to activate it if you haven't Go to Preferences, Add-ons, and look for Wrangler. Make sure to activate it. And now select the shader and press Ctrl Shift T. Now look for the textures we are going to use. These textures are from ambientcg.com. Just click on Categories rocks and I'm using rock 45 for K JPEG you can find the link in video description okay once we have the textures select color hold control select displacement normal map open GL and roughness let's preview the render we need to add a light with shift a light sunlight with r we can rotate it or we can use the yellow dot we're going to use the displacement map to add more details to the rock but before we can use it go to material properties scroll down under settings change to displacement and bump this option is only for cycles so you can find this if you are using EV okay so now we need more geometry let's add a subdivision surface modifier and we can tile the texture in mapping node scale I'm going to increase to 2 on X and Y now in displacement node we can play with scale we can also increase subdivision levels 
but of course this will increase polygon count, it's just a matter of finding a good balance. And just to clarify, the displacement node will only work with cycles. If you want to use Eevee, you have to use the displace modifier. Let's switch to Eevee. Now add the displace modifier. Click on new. And select the displacement texture we already imported. If you can find it, just click open and select the texture. Here in mapping, we can tile the texture. Let's go back to the modifier. In coordinates, switch to UV and just play around with the settings. Now I'm going to duplicate it with Shift D or we can also create instances with Alt D and because these are linked objects we can save some memory. And that's it, hope you can find this helpful, thanks for watching.